We are all feeling the crunch of increasing prices, and especially at the grocery store. And tonight we're digging deeper into the price boom behind eggs. First, let's give you some context here. The U.S. Department of Agriculture reports that egg prices were up 267% at the end of 2022 compared to what they cost at the beginning of the year. A dozen grade A eggs cost $3.59 on average in the U.S. That same carton was $1.72 that was at the wow. beginning of last year. And in Colorado, prices are higher than the national average. We did some digging on this and found the cheapest store brand carton of extra large white eggs. That's currently nearly $5 at Safeway. At King Supers, the store brand there will cost you nearly $6. And they limit you to just three cartons right now, by the way. Walmart store brand costs $6.62. Of course, some people would look past those prices, buy those eggs anyway. However, Empty egg shelves like these are becoming all too common at Colorado grocery stores. There are plenty of factors behind the price hike from the avian flu to inflation and overall demand. But before we dig deeper into the cause, we want to see how local businesses are coping with this hike. Denver 7's Colette Bordelon begins our coverage tonight, showing us how businesses and consumers are now looking into different egg options. At Syrup in Capitol Hill, servers are running around. I have one with no sausage. Plates are hitting the table. I'm going to put these right here for you. But what servers and customers are talking about. I got a coupon last week that was like half off. Has changed. It's going to get to you some. I mean, I'm, I'm sure I can't find a brown egg, honestly. It's what's on Don Aston Borski's mind while she's eating breakfast. As long as I can eat to survive and live, I'm going to figure a way to do that. Just it's just hard, you know, it's hard for everyone. It's like, OK, eggs over here are three ninety nine. Oh, it's eight fifty over here. Oh, it's thirty dollars over here. It's like this is ridiculous. This is getting crazy. So crazy. She didn't even know if she could order a side of eggs at syrup. And I'd like a side of eggs. Can I still get that? Yeah, sure. Eggs are kind of our thing. I will go ahead and take these minis out the way, get that working. Can I get one regular scrambled egg and one vegan scrambled egg? Brittany Granger is the general manager here. We used to get a case for about $27, and now we're getting them for about $150. And they get anywhere from 8 to 10 cases a week. So they're considering raising prices in the next few months. It might be a dollar on everything, which is kind of steep for a lot of people, and I understand that, but our pricing has gone up significantly. The restaurant offers vegan eggs, which Granger says are a bit cheaper. We've got two eggs in front of us. One is a real scrambled egg. One is a vegan scrambled egg. Do you like hot sauce? I do. That tastes like real egg to me, though, but I'm, I'm not going to make my decision. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's ready to swap. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. What's your guess? This is a real egg. That's the vegan egg, but it's a close competition. But I would guess from my, my years of egg experience that, <laughs> that that's the real egg. That guess is right. But I don't know if everybody's willing to make the change into vegan eggs. It just kind of scares people, I think. Hoping customers will understand the potential price increase on real eggs since the issue hits home on both sides of the table. We want it to be like the cheap round and like easy in and out, but it just doesn't always happen that way. It is my pleasure. Colette Bordelon, Denver 7. And one of the biggest reasons egg supplies have dwindled is because of this ongoing avian flu outbreak. This virus killed more than 43 million egg laying hens in the U.S. in 2022. Here in Colorado, the outbreak has killed 5 million egg laying hens. Now to put this in perspective, last year Colorado's egg laying hens produced nearly a billion eggs. That's 500 million fewer than a typical year. And once those outbreaks are controlled and inflation drops, we could assume that egg prices would go back to normal. However, here in Colorado, new laws just kicked in for egg producers that could impact those prices. Starting this year, the state now requires all eggs produced and sold in Colorado be from hens kept in cages that are at least 12 by 12 inches. Right now, a vast majority of egg laying hens in the U.S. are kept in eight and a half by 11 inch cages, which is the size of a standard sheet of letter paper. And while that may seem like a small increase, by 2025, those hens must be cage free. We recently spoke with a director for the Colorado Department of Agriculture who says they have been communicating with egg producers about the new rules since the law passed in 2020. We've had two years working with industry, working not only with egg producers, but also uh, restaurant associations, grocery associations, various stakeholders, not only in Colorado, but across the country to make sure as we're developing these rules, we're not going to disrupt the flow of eggs coming into Colorado or being produced in Colorado. 
a lot of our farmers in Colorado, egg producers in Colorado, just made the decision to just go beyond the 144 square, inch, square inches and just go right to cage free instead of taking the time to step up. That's Director Mark Gallegos, and he's saying he doesn't expect these new rules to raise Colorado's egg prices since that transition to cage free will happen over the next two years. He also added that, quote, multiple factors can play into increasing egg costs.